You know, the spiritual energy right now is very intense, as always, but it's gotten a lot more intense in these last couple hours. I can't put these things that I'm feeling into words, but uh, what I can do is I can make you aware if you're willing to listen. You see? I feel like America's asleep. They all believe the nonsense they see on the television. And they for some reason are unaware that television uh, is, is a mind control mind control device and uh, you really you really shouldn't watch a television and, uh, I'm up here in Carlisle been visiting my dad for these last couple weeks and uh, I'm trying to get my driver's license but that's a pain in the ass here in Pennsylvania it is extremely difficult to get a driver's license here in Pennsylvania unless you know somebody who already has a car you will never get your driver's license. Okay, unless you have somebody in your family or somebody you know who is willing to let you drive their car, you're never going to get a driver's license. I don't care how old you are, how much money you have, you're not going to get it. And uh, that's how the system is designed. Um, Truthfully, it makes me very angry inside. It makes me very angry, but uh, I'm not going to let it. I'm not going to let it make me angry because anger is a feeling from the devil. And you see, the law is designed to fill you with anger, and it's designed to basically it's designed to distract you from faith. The law here in the United States of America is written by satanic people who have never truthfully worked a day in their life. And uh, I, I'm sure you're already aware of this stuff, but in case if there's one person out there who's not aware of this, now you are. All right, the United States of America at one time was a Christian nation, but uh, I think we can all agree that it's a satanic nation now. Things are not like they used to be, and people are not like they used to be. See, the woods are beautiful. They really are. I mean, the reason why I'm showing you these clips right now, so you know that there is still beauty in this world and there is still living things okay the plants and the bugs have no evil intention like people do alright when I'm out here in the woods I can be myself when I'm out here in the woods I can talk to you but if I'm in society I can't do either of them Society's crazy. They really are. I'm not judging anybody in particular. I'm just judging society. Not judging them. But what I'm doing is I'm putting certain people who are spiritually and mentally asleep, I'm putting them into a category. Alright, I'm not judging them. I'm not saying what I'm doing is right. But that's what my mind automatically does because I'm so used to seeing brainwashed people who are not living by faith 
they are living under the wall and they are living very selfishly as if their gods are their belly they treat people like there is no God they treat themselves and their brothers and sisters like they're not even human they're just constantly spewing negative energy negative disruptive energy even if it's not physical or or even if it's not an energy that you can hear just the energy coming off their bodies is negative and they don't even know it they don't even know this energy exists right? anybody who is awake knows that these energies exist and anybody who is spiritually awake knows that there's energy everywhere you go everywhere you go everybody you meet there's energy you notice those energies by how you feel pay attention please I'm gonna give you an example when you walk through a bad neighborhood all right you don't get a positive feeling you get a negative cautious feeling all right out here look around you out here you don't get that cautious negative feeling because there's trees the trees are beautiful they're not going to harm you and the energy they give off is peaceful a peaceful energy because God created them the trees are living how God wants them to live whether you know it or not even though the trees don't have legs, even though they can't walk around and talk to us, they're still alive, you know. They're still alive. They have a mind, they have a body, and they have a spirit, just like you and I do. They're no different. Right? The bugs that are crawling around on the ground, I'm going to give you an example. Right now, there's a carpenter ant on the ground. I don't know where he went, but there's a carpenter ant on the ground. There's another ant over there. I don't know how well you can see that, but whether you know it or not, they're just like you and me. They have friends. They have families. Whether you know it or not, they have kids. They're eggs that hatch. They're babies. Just like if you was to have a kid, it's a baby. You care about it. That's how other creatures are with one another. They care about one another. They treat each other with respect. And they help one another. Now, on the other hand, humans, such as you and I, gotta have machines. Humans, for some reason, gotta have big, ugly machines that stink, that take up a lot of space and the worst part is that governments and greedy oil companies like to make money off of those machines when there was machines created in the 1930s that were magnetic that didn't require any gas they didn't require any kind of electricity the only electricity they needed they would actually generate They've had, believe it or not, how can I put this in words? If you look on YouTube, you'll find magnetic engines that were created in the 1930s. All you got to do is turn a wheel. Once that magnetic engine is going, it's generating electricity. And that electricity is what's going to keep that engine moving. As wild. wild as that may sound to you, those machines were created before television. They were created before cell phones, they were created obviously before computer systems and yet you see not a single person drives a car with a magnetic engine that's because humans have evil intent they want to rip one another off they want to steal from one another and they just want to do each other wrong now, I'm not talking about everybody I'm talking about the people who choose to follow Satan. Half the time they don't even know they're following Satan. They just do it. They do it because they're not living by faith. They think they're not hurting anyone, but yet they're depriving thousands of people. Have 
faith. If you ask the Lord for wisdom, He'll give you wisdom on these things. Okay? Society, on the other hand, when I say society, I mean the majority of folks who are living without faith and who are just completely caught up in this madness that the devil has created. Alright? I'm just going to give you an example. Before before the 1900s, people lived in unity. They had faith. They took care of one another. They built their own houses. They didn't buy a house. They built their own house in the woods. Okay? They hunted for their food, and they appreciated what they had. Okay, and then as the 1900s came along, the young children were forced to go to school. And at the time, these kids weren't really being heavily brainwashed like they are now. Uh, they were taught reading, writing, arithmetic, you know, basic stuff. They weren't really completely brainwashed like nowadays where these kids nowadays are forced to go to school and it's like a jail. Jail for your mind. It wasn't like that back in the day. But yesterday's generation was more awake. Since the generation was more awake, they couldn't get away with a lot of this evil shit they get away with now. People wouldn't have stood for it, you know what I mean? They wouldn't allow it to happen. Alright, but as time went on and color television came out, that's when America began uh, uh, to descend. That's when the spiritual energy here in America got very intense. Now, back in the 1960s, things were a lot easier. Okay? It was easier to make money easier to get along with people. The food was clean, the water was clean, the air was clean. Alright? Now, here we are in the 21st century. Alright? As the 1970s came along, uh, really, it was the early 1960s, I believe, when the Satanism started in our government. Uh, but, you see, the culture was more aware back then. I mean, the government couldn't get away with what they're doing now. People would have, people would have took the government down. But as time went on, they slowly dumbed each generation down. Now, as they dumbed these kids down year after year after year after year, they found that they can slowly, slowly but surely, create a force that no man could take down. Okay, now this isn't the, the work of one or two people. This is the work of multiple Satan worshippers over the years. God gives you wisdom, but at the same time, Satan will give you bad wisdom. He will give you bad ideas. And he will give you bad energy. Okay? Us as Christians, we got to do our job, all right? We got to, we got to pray for this nation. Truthfully, I, I don't want to. Sometimes I'm being straight up. There's times when I wouldn't mind seeing this country crumble with the way how they're trying to take it. There's times when I kind of want a revolution. When I want us to stand up against the government. But the more I think about it, it would only lead to people dying. Alright, now, unfortunately, the world has become very complex with these machines, such as the digital camera that you're seeing my face on right now, or the computer screen that you're looking at. None of that stuff existed back in the day. Alright, yeah, this technology's good, but at the same time, this technology's making people stupid. All right, the television, I have to say, television and the, and the education system are the two worst things that have ever been created by man. Okay, the education system and television. All right, now of course, 
what you're looking at me at right now is practically a television. When I say television, I mean... I'm sorry, the camera cut me off. Uh, when I say television, I mean these massive mainstream media corporations. All right, You don't notice it when you're staring at the TV screen. You don't realize what's going on. But they're controlling your mind. Those images that you're seeing on the screen, they, they stick in your head. You know what I mean? Uh, a lot of times, they'll play terrifying music in the background while a police officer's walking up to somebody. And then they show the police officer disrespecting the person with that terrifying music. And they don't realize what that's doing in their mind. It's pumping fear into their soul. Now, as the years have gone on, the mind control techniques have changed. They've become more intense. Uh, as the 1980s came along, they began to, to spray chemicals into the atmosphere. That's when they began to first poison the food in the early 1980s. That's when brainwash really, really, really took off. 1980 is the year when America has changed. There was a lot of changes made to the education system that has already gotten satanic since the 1960s. Uh, the music began to change. Don't get me wrong, there was a lot of good music in the 1980s that I like. But that's when brainwash started to become very, very powerful. Very powerful. Because people in society have been getting stupider since the 1960s. And the scientists and the elite have been getting smarter at learning how you, you and me, how our brains work. And that's not a good thing. I'm just going to put it to you this way. I could go on all day about how how things have changed. Um, basically, in the last 30 years, people have gotten so stupid, they have lost uh, almost all their morals. I mean, you look at society now, they don't know how to they don't know how to do anything. When I say society, I'm speaking specifically of those who are not living by faith, and I'm speaking specifically to those who are under the law. Alright? It says in the Bible, if a man lives by faith, he's not under the law. Alright? I'm not under the law. If you're living by faith, you're not under the law. That doesn't mean to go out and break into houses and do evil things. Once you live by faith, you're under God's law, not the law of man. The law of man is nothing but corruption. Anyway, anyway, make a long story short, as the years have gone on, they increased the chemicals, they increased the poisons that they're spraying in the air, and at the same time, generation after generation has just been constantly be getting dumber and dumber. So one dumb generation passes its dumbness on to the next generation, and then the mind police, which is the education system and the television networks, been constantly dumbing each generation down more and more. And now, here we are. 2014, here we are. Look around you. Wake up. Look around. I don't have to say anything. You should already know. You should already know what's going on. I mean, the Lord's given me another day. He's given you another day. I'm thankful for that. But really, I mean, People now buy plastic cars. <laughs> they buy cars made out of plastic. Not only are they buying these plastic cars, they're spending thirty and forty thousand dollars for a car that's made of plastic. Twenty years ago, the average car costed, I'd say, around fifteen to twenty thousand, and they were made out of metal. They had metal bumpers. They had springs in the seats, and they were nice to drive. Now, these cars nowadays look stupid. They ride like shit. And uh, I don't care what anybody says. Them airbags are not safe. I've been hit with an airbag, and I almost busted my nose. Those airbags ain't safe. And then all that powder shit coming out. 
Putin, I started choking from that stuff. My chest still to this day don't feel right now. It was two years ago. Wake up, please, wake up. And not to mention, these new cars can be tracked by GPS at any time. Every single word you say in a new car, there's a microphone system built in to the OnStar box or whatever kind of stuff they have now. I just know that everything you say is recorded in these new cars and it never goes away, it never gets erased. So, yet people, they, they just, they suck up to this stuff and say, oh, no big deal, you can record me, blah, 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 blah. no big deal, right, no big deal, yeah, that's what everybody says until they got the cops knocking on their door because they said something they didn't mean. Before I uh, cut this video short, I just want to say a few other things. Uh, the police are not who you think they are and they're not your friends okay they say they're here to serve and protect but I've had cops try and kill me okay I've had police fire shots at me with a 9mm and I've also had government agents fire a 22 at me okay and I know why they use the 22 because you won't hear a 22 more than a quarter mile away don't think it's a firecracker However, I've had the police shoot at me, and they're not serving God. They say to serve and protect. They're serving Satan. Just for enforcing these ungodly laws, they are serving Satan. If you're a police officer, shame on you. I mean that. I have nothing else to say about that. However, uh, they are spraying poison in the air. There's patents. Documented patents for the poisons that they're spraying into the atmosphere. All right, these chemicals that they're spraying are known to alter your mind, they're known to put you into a sedative state to just make you accept. All right, they put fluoride into the water. Okay, fluoride is a deadly poison, it doesn't help your teeth. And it doesn't help anything in your body. If you think it does, then you need to think again and do your research. Yet, they put it in the water because it calcifies our pineal gland. Many years ago, they found that if they could calcify a person's pineal gland, they could basically control them. Especially if they cut off their hair. Okay, because your pineal gland is like your body's transceiver. It's like your body's radio. It transmits and it receives energy. And your hair is like your body's antenna. All right? Now obviously the education system will tell you everything here in between to keep you from knowing that and to make people who think that and know that look crazy. That's their main goal, to make spiritual spiritually aware people look crazy. The television networks and the education system's main goal is to distract one's faith and make people who have faith look crazy. Now, one of the things that became close to my attention recently is how now the education system has gone from making us look crazy making us look crazy and like we're terrorists. Okay, if you look on the internet, it's all documented. They talk about terrorism on the television like like uh, Iraq and all those countries out in the Middle East are a threat. Okay? Now, they're trying to make it look like we're Christians or terrorists. People like you and me. You know why they're afraid? They're not afraid of us. They're afraid of Jesus. And since they're afraid of Jesus, they want to kill or lock away anybody who has faith. Because they know that your faith will set you free from all their mind control techniques. They want to keep people dumbed down and they want a faithless nation. 
Okay. Another thing that I've realized just in the last few weeks, I don't watch television. But I've been staying here in my dad's place, and uh, my dad uh, watches television every now and then. And I can't help but notice some of the things that are on the screen. I noticed how these big television networks, they're very, very picky with the words they choose. And I noticed that they all glorify evil. If you're watching a movie, the movie is going to glorify sin. It's going to have people having sex who are not married. It's going to have people doing other people wrong and laughing about it. Basically, television sets a negative example for you because we all influence one another naturally. If you see somebody on the screen doing something wrong, and then you come out into reality, you're going to think back at that. And you're going to think about how those people are laughing and how the television network glorified the evil, evil works they've done. The news is a perfect example. I don't like the news. I don't believe a single word any news station in the United States says. I don't believe a single word they say. However, I notice how when you stare at a television, it kind of makes you accept things. Uh, I'm going to give you an example. Earlier today on the television, they said, well, gas prices are going to be rising again. As if the fucking gas ain't expensive enough. I'm sorry for cursing. I, that slipped. However, they say it as if, like, it's okay. You know what I mean? Like, they're big brother. Like, they can, you know what I mean? Like, they make the rules. That's how, what television is basically like. And then finally they admit it that there is metal in all the food. I don't care what you eat, what you drink, there's metal in it. And there's also other stuff they wouldn't say. They said it's classified for your safety. That's the best part. Whenever they say for your safety, you better think twice. But I already knew these things and I've been telling people these things for a long time now and nobody wanted to listen to me. Now the television says it and everybody's like, oh my god, oh my god, what do I do? They all get freaked out now that the television said it. But I've been telling them for months and they looked at me like I was crazy. Just saying. I'm just saying how, how society is. They'll believe whatever they hear on the tube, but they won't believe something from you or me. That's brainwash. That's how you can tell when someone... Is it's not hard to tell a person it's... I shouldn't even say they're brainwashed. I, I gotta stop doing that. Just somebody who's confused. Someone who has so much smoke in front of their eyes. They can't see anything. They're so asleep. They... If the television says the sky is red and you look up and say the sky is blue, they'll believe the television over you. I mean, that's as wild, as wild and crazy as that sounds, that's what we're heading to. Okay? People uh, are so asleep, they're becoming programmed. They don't even know what they're doing anymore. They're just going through the motions every day. You know what I mean? It's like they, they're, they're getting so clueless. I wish I could explain it to you better. I really do. But I, I don't even know how to explain it myself. Half the stuff I notice, the word just gives me wisdom. He the Lord just, he shows you these things. If you ask for wisdom, uh, he'll show you. He'll show you all this. I mean, he'll show you in a way that nobody else could ever explain it to you. I mean, you'll understand things. You'll understand things way better if you just ask God for this wisdom. All right? I mean, I want to explain this to you. I want to pass every drop of wisdom I have onto you. But... Half the stuff that I, I realize and half the things I see, I just cannot put into words. You have to go to God. You have to talk to Jesus himself to understand. All right? It's like the more you understand, just the more fed up you get, the more angry you get inside. But anger is a feeling from the devil, and that's what the devil wants. He wants you to be angry. The wall Seeing the nation that I grew up in as a child, the way that I saw things when I was a child, now that I'm older, 
I, I'm just seeing how much this nation has changed since I was a young kid. And I'm seeing how all these years I thought wrong. All right? The school system. When I quit school, that's when I awoke. That's when my spirit woke up. That's when I really began to live by faith. Before I quit school, I was a fool. Okay? The school system, I can say, brainwashed me. Thank the Lord. The Lord has woke me up from that brainwash. The Lord has helped me clarify things in my mind and see things for the way they really are. I pray for you and for anybody watching this video, please go to Jesus and ask, ask Him for wisdom. Because you and me, neither of us have much time left. Okay? I don't know the day and I don't know the time of anything. All I can tell you is that the time is short, okay? And the Lord has a mission for you and the Lord has a mission for me. Right now, my mission is to talk to, to, talk to you. Right now, I'm talking to you through a portal. This camera, this electronic eye that I'm talking to, whether you know it or not, is a gift from God. It's a portal. It's the portal. He's given me the ability to pass my wisdom on to you. God bless you. Thank you for watching. Before I uh, cut off this video, I just want you to see how beautiful the Lord intended for the world to be. Okay? This land right here is preserving. This land here is the sacred land. Okay? Any woods, any forest, any forest or any place where there's trees, the land is preserving. If you look, it's untouched by man. This is the way the entire world was at one time. At one time, there were fruit trees, there were pear trees, there was peaches and apples. The land was plentiful. All the woods used to produce food. And there was apple trees and food everywhere. Now you see it, there's nothing. It wasn't like that until the Industrial Age. They sent out hundreds and thousands of people to kill all the food trees in the 1930s during the Great Depression. They didn't want anybody to be able to live off the land in America. So they killed as many trees as they could. And as the 1960s and 1970s and all that came along, bugs flew in my eye. That's the devil. He wants me to distract what I'm saying. They sprayed poison in the air. They would kill the fruit trees and the pear trees. Anything they left behind, it wasn't dead. To this day, they're still spraying chemicals in the air to kill those trees that produce fruit. Not to mention all the weather modification they're doing. These people are Satan's army. They're possessed mentally by Satan. Don't be fooled, brothers and sisters. Trust in Jesus.